Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. This is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic Digital Marketing. Uh, today we're going to be going over a commonly asked for question is how to track uh, button clicks and or link clicks uh, with Google Tag Manager on your website. Um, so Google Tag Manager in recent years has made this really, really easy. Uh, so we'll do a quick step-by-step -step process, show you how to do it, um, and then hopefully we'll get this up and running on your sites and tracking uh, cart button clicks, any button click, any link click on your site um, in a multitude of ways. So here we are in Google Tag Manager. The prerequisite is that you do have Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics already set up. If you don't, please go view my other courses on how to set those instances up. But once you have those uh, running, you'll be all set to go. So the first thing you need to do is come into your variables tab here uh, within Google Tag Manager, uh, hit configure, and make sure that inside of clicks, you have all of these items checked. This is what allows Google Tag Manager to actually track uh, clicks within, within your website. So make sure you have all those uh, checked and hit save on that. Uh, the next thing you need to do as with um, any uh, trigger and tag setup is I have to set up first the, the listening trigger for the event on my site. So I'll come here, I'll click trigger and within triggers, I'll click new. You can name this whatever you want. I like to do link click and then what type of link click we're gonna be tracking uh, contact us link clicks. So this button here, I want to track any uh, click on that button on my website. Uh, so I'll come down to trigger configuration. And within here, you'll see this option for clicks. You can do all elements or just links. What we want to uh, select is all elements. So what this is currently set up to do is track all link clicks on all elements uh, on your entire site. And that's not what we want. We want it to be on specific link clicks uh, within our site. And the way that we can do that is figure out how we differentiate that contact us button from all the other buttons on our site. So before we continue with this, we'll need to figure out what that is. So I'll discard changes. And if you click this preview button within Tag Manager, it'll let you um, virtually inspect every action that you take on your page, all the, the events that are firing, uh, in case you didn't know that. So when I go ahead and click preview, I should be able to go over to my site now and refresh. And this nice little menu at the bottom here will pop up. And this is all the different uh, data layer values, variables that are going on, the tags that are currently firing and the tags that are currently not firing. This gives you insight into whether or not what you've implemented is working or isn't working. So what I want to check is clicks on this contact us button. And again, I need to find a way to differentiate this from all these other buttons. Uh, so if you hold down command and you click the button, It'll then allow you to see what fires when you click that without changing the page. So when I click that, I go into this variable section. Sorry, that's the wrong button click. Let me refresh real quick. I had double action there. Again, here we are. Re uh, hold down command, right click. There's that click. I come in here and I see variables. And this will give me all the different variables that I could target this button on. Um, so it's showing you the classes. Um, the text, the URL. Um, what I typically like to do is use an ID or a class, um, but I haven't set any uh, specific ones on this button. So what I can use um, is the uh, form element or this click element here. Um, so again, I'd prefer to set like a class or an ID, like ID being contact us button or add to cart, whatever, and you can, um, target just that or you can use anything that you find in here and I'll show you how you go about doing that. So hop back into Tag Manager. Uh, we'll add a new trigger. Uh, link click, contact us, trigger config, go back to all elements, click some clicks and then here if I had classes set up I would just put like the class name that that we had set on the button or the ID. But since I didn't do that uh, I can do any one of these different uh, click variation. So I'll pick click element. Again, we took that from right here. Contact us. Contains and or equals to however you want to set that up. And then I'll go ahead and click save. Now once I've done that, I have to add that trigger to the tag that's going to fire. Um, so the tag I will call is 
link clicks or button clicks, contact us. Tag configuration, we want to send this into Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. I'll click that. And this is firing on an event, not a page view. So I want to click event. And then I'll ask for uh, tracking parameters. These are the different parameters that you need for an event within Google Analytics. So for category, I would call it button. The action is click. And the label would be contact us. Uh, and then down here, uh, the only other thing you need, you can leave this alone. But within here, you need your uh, analytics tracking ID. What I did is took my analytics tracking ID and set it up as a variable so I can always reuse it without needing to actually go grab it. But should you not have had this set up this way, you would come into Google Analytics, you would go to settings, property settings, and there is your tracking ID. Um, but since I have my setup as a variable, I would click that, click advanced settings, make sure that it's once per event, and that's all ready to go. The next thing I need to do is then associate it with that trigger that we set up, which is right here. Link click, contact us. Perfect. So now if I hit save, I'm ready to publish this. So I'll leave preview briefly. And all I have to do is submit these. I know they work, otherwise I would want to do this in preview mode first. Um, but I would just do contact us button click. I'll do that quick, publish those. And now close out of both these windows. And I want to do this um, now in preview mode to make sure that that's working. So I click preview, go to my website. And the same process that we did before with clicking that button, we should now see that new uh, tag that we had added. So command click contact us, tags fired on this page. And you'll see right here in the corner, link, link clicks contact us fired. So then the other way to just reaffirm that this is happening is to, uh, I'm gonna leave preview mode now that I'm done with that. And then actually hop into GA, open my website, hop into my analytics account, and we'll look at the real time events to make sure that this is coming in. So here we are real time, here I am as a viewer. I'll go ahead and click that contact us button. And then in my events section, I should have just had an event fire. Here we go. Here it is. Uh, event category button, action of click. When I click on that, label of contact us. So there you go. That's all that you have to do uh, in that order is set up the triggering uh, within Google Tag Manager, then set up a corresponding tag in Google Tag Manager, making sure that you have properly targeted the element that you want to track. Uh, you go in preview mode in Google Tag Manager, and then as a final check, you come into your Google Analytics instance and make sure that that real-time event is firing. Um, so thanks for your time today, guys. If you have any other videos that you'd like me to make, just let me know. Uh, otherwise, happy marketing and have a good one.